Did anything seem really tricky or jump out at you? No? Okay. All right. Before we go on, let's talk a little bit more about what is a potential. I feel like you talk about it in physics. Am I okay to erase this, by the way? I feel like you talk about it in physics and they're like, yeah, it's just a potential, and they move on. And I never felt like I intuitively understood what a potential was. Do you guys feel the same way? Ish? So the big question we're going to ask is, is what is a potential? So how do you, what do you guys, when you see the word potential, what do you think? So what goes through your head when you see potential? Gravity, gravity. yeah, gravity is a potential. It's a bias. What else do you think of? Most of the time when I look in the context of these problems, I'm like, please be zero, because it makes things easier. But intuitively, like, what do you feel like a potential is? How many people have no idea you can raise your hand? Or like, is it just too hard of something to answer? It's like asking what temperature is at a fundamental level or like you're explaining things. We all have felt gravity before, right? Hopefully. <laughs> okay. In our context, we're going to describe it as um, a term that helps dictate the, the position of an electron or of a quantum particle. So it is a term within the Schrodinger equation. That guides the movement. That's not a cube. of a quantum particle. <laughs> Barnacle, particle, there we go. Okay, so you mentioned gravity, right? That would be an example of a bias. Another example would be a barrier. It's something that impacts the behavior of the system. or it's the energy due to position. Like I said, when we look at different quantum systems, generally the kinetic energy portion is left alone we tend to just look at, at just changing the potential, the potential that's applied to the system. Okay? So when we talk about potentials, I want you to keep these things in mind, whatever you need to justify it in your head of what's going on. Okay? <laughs>